I'm Kim Williamson, and I'm retired. Shortly after I retired in January 2012, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, which is not your ordinary arthritis. It causes uh, severe inflammation and really uh, a, a stabbing-like, fire-like pain. So I joined one of the franchise uh, fitness clubs. The woman who was in charge of trainers said, oh, but I have the perfect guy for you. And this five foot six, built like a brick shit house, fully tatted, red mohawk, walks up to me. And I said, um, under my breath, no fucking way is he going to be training me. I'm a 60 year old woman with silver hair um, that he doesn't know anything about rheumatoid arthritis. You know, I said to myself, and I probably said to him too, well, you know, we'll give this a go and see how it works. So, this is now five years later. Hi, I'm David Weaver. I am a physics professor. I have been teaching, this is now my 37th year within the Maricopa District. As Kim mentioned, that she gave me some training with uh, JC, and it, this was after hearing her side of especially those first training sessions where there was the no fucking way um, is he going to train me and I think one of the things that uh, people will find out with JC is that he is very hungry for knowledge. Um, when Kim first started with him that was really when he first got started doing training outside the prison yard. <laughs> I mean, because he had been doing the hardcore prison training, um, and this was his first foray into, okay, I've got to deal with all kinds of different levels of physicality of people, etc. And so he actually did research um, on RA and was open to, as Kim said, that you know she wanted to own her own health, and so to listen to the feedback and uh, adjust his training regimen to more match that and so that's been something he's done over the years. He, he has such an understanding of where people are individually. When I've worked with some other trainers that they have to kind of keep a logbook for each of their clients um, to remember what they did last time and what the weights are and all of that kind of stuff but JC just seems to have it all internalized. And so with Wrong to Strong, that there are a couple of things that stick out in my mind. First of all, again, is that one of the missions, one of the intended audiences is for uh, people in halfway houses, people coming out of prison. Um, the recidivism rate is just astronomical. And it's oftentimes because uh, convicts come out and they really, they're used to a structure that in that big house that they don't have out here. And one of the things that Wrong to Strong as an organization is helping put together offers some of that structure and also offers some of the collegiality, some of the um, fellow people to work out with that, had, that share some of the same background. And it was interesting this morning, JC told me about um, a fellow that said, well, you know, can I be part of Wrong to Strong because I've never been to prison. And JC's question was, well, have you ever broken the law? And the guy kind of, mm, yeah, and he said, well, you know, you didn't get caught, but <laughs> we're all felons and, you know, at least in spirit in some way. And so again, having this group of people that you can share good habits with and help support each other to get better from wherever you are, I think is a really important part of Ron to Strong.